In mathematical optimization theory, the linear complementarity problem arises frequently in computational mechanics and encompasses the well-known quadratic programming as a special case. It was proposed by Kotel and Dentzig in 1968. Formulation Given a real matrix M and vector Q, the linear complementarity problem LCP seeks vectors Z and W which satisfy the following constraints. Or equivalently, this is the complementarity condition, since it implies that at most one of each pair can be positive. A sufficient condition for existence and uniqueness of a solution to this problem is that M be symmetric positive definite. If M is such that LCP have a solution for every Q, then M is a Q matrix. If M is such that LCP have a unique solution for every Q, then M is a P matrix. Both of these characterizations are sufficient and necessary. The vector is a slack variable, and so is generally discarded after is found. As such, the problem can also be formulated as convex quadratic minimization. Minimum conditions. Finding a solution to the linear complementarity problem is associated with minimizing the quadratic function subject to the constraints. These constraints ensure that f is always non-negative. The minimum of f is zero at z if and only if z solves the linear complementarity problem. If m is positive definite, any algorithm for solving convex QPs can solve the LCP. Specially designed basis exchange pivoting algorithms, such as Lemke's algorithm and a variant of the simplex algorithm of Danzig have been used for decades. Besides having polynomial time complexity, interior point methods are also effective in practice. Also, a quadratic programming problem stated as minimized subject to as well as with Q symmetric is the same as solving the LCP with this is because the karash kuhn tucker conditions of the QP problem can be written as being the Lagrange multipliers on the non-negativity constraints, the multipliers on the inequality constraints, and the slack variables for the inequality constraints. The fourth condition derives from the complementarity of each group of variables being the multipliers are no longer present, and the first KKT conditions can be rewritten as or, pre-multiplying the two sides by and subtracting we obtain, the left side, due to the second KKT condition, is, substituting and reordering, calling now and we have an LCP, due to the relation of complementarity between the slack variables and their Lagrange multipliers. Once we solve it, we may obtain the value of from through the first KKT condition. Finally, it is also possible to handle additional equality constraints. This introduces a vector of Lagrange multipliers with the same dimension as it is easy to verify that the in for the LCP system are now expressed as from we can now recover the values of both and the Lagrange multiplier of equalities. In fact, most QP solvers work on the LCP formulation, including the interior point method, principal, complementarity pivoting, and active set methods. LCP problems can be solved also by the criss-cross algorithm. Conversely, for linear complementarity problems, the Kreese cross algorithm terminates finitely only if the matrix is a sufficient matrix. A sufficient matrix is a generalization both of a positive definite matrix and of a P matrix, whose principal minors are each positive. Such LCPs can be solved when they are formulated abstractly using oriented matroid theory.